This week's 48 Hours investigates the death of a Missouri snake breeder named Ben Rennick. He was found dead in 2017, and investigators at first thought one of those prized snakes must be responsible. But they soon discovered his death was no accident. 48 Hours correspondent Peter Van Sant has the story. On a hot Missouri summer day in June 2017, Montgomery County Coroner Dave Colbert was called to one of the most unique death scenes of his 20-year career. Someone being killed by a snake is not something that happens every day. A literal snake pit, a building with more than 3,000 exotic serpents, being nervously patrolled by a team of armed sheriff's deputies. Well, we're sure there's no snakes around the victim. Yeah. Who aren't sure if one of these snakes may have killed renowned breeder Ben Rennick. Who is? Ben, uh, ben Rennick. Uh -huh. But while examining Ben's body, the coroner made a surprising discovery. Ben's body, lying face down, hid the true cause of death. He had been shot eight times, once at close range. This was something that was not just a random act. Nearby was Ben's wife, Lindley. She had found his body and had called Ben's brother, Sam Rennick, to the scene. That's a snake, honey. There's not a soul in the world that would have wanted to hurt Ben. We couldn't have imagined anything like that. But investigators soon became suspicious of Ben's young bride. They learned that Lindley had been unfaithful with two men. It was just, just sex. And she may have had financial motive to want Ben dead. Lindley stood to gain millions of dollars from the death of my brother. Between the life insurance, the sale of the snakes, and the family farm that she would inherit, it was significant. Yet with no witnesses or direct evidence linking her to Ben's murder, she would remain a free woman for almost three years until a jailhouse tip broke the case wide open. She walks in with the gun and she just shoots him a bunch of times and then leaves. The witness claimed that Lindley shot Ben with the help of Michael Humphrey, an old ex-boyfriend. But after their arrests, Lindley and Humphrey would both point the finger at each other. Who had really pulled the trigger? It's a good question. Peter Van Sant joins us now. Peter, what else did this jailhouse witness say or provide as evidence? Well, this witness was another one of her ex-boyfriends, and he said that Lindley told him that she had tried to poison her husband, Ben, by making a protein shake laced with narcotics. When that didn't work, she went to Plan B. Now, Lindley says none of that is true. I actually brought this fellow into that snake pit because I was going to tell my husband that I wanted a divorce. I was worried he might lash out at me and I wanted the protection and that this man suddenly shoots her husband. Mm. He says she shot her husband and it all plays out at trial. Wow. wow. And, and the police, when they entered the house, they must have assumed that there were snakes on the loose. They thought there was a killer snake in there because the brother of the victim had told 911 a snake killed my brother, mm. and we have body wow. cam video. It's wow. really something. They're going around wow. with their guns, ready to kill a snake. I would be as well. Peter, thank you very much. And you can watch Peter's full report. It's called The Poisonous Wife tomorrow at night at 10, 9 central, right here on CBS and on our streaming service, Paramount+. Plus.